Hello, this is Everett Morris, and this is Radio Salad Studios Garden Update. So, good news, bad news. Let's start with the good news. Um, tomatoes. We have a lot of them. The Sweet 100s are producing quite well. The heirlooms are coming in. I've got about three or four right now. The pear yellows are very, very gracious and popping up out of nowhere. Um, so, yeah, tomatoes, not a problem. Very much looking forward to enjoying some of the heirlooms. Uh, peppers. We have uh, some uh, green bells, although I planted some red, yellow, and orange bells, but I haven't seen a one. It's just been the green ones that have been popping through. Um, <coughs> pardon me. Um, green jalapenos, bananas, and red jalapenos are quite proliferous. So that's all very good. Um, bad news. So, uh, corn. The one thing that I was super excited about did not happen. And, uh, here are the reasons why. One, um, heat and humidity. We've gotten a huge amount of heat and humidity in the last, uh, three, four weeks. And... Uh, that created an overabundance of sugar in the stalks, caused the redness. Um, this is the mistake that I made. I tried to um, uh, compensate for it by keeping the sprinkler going, trying to keep the plants cool. Well, that failed miserably because I watered the whole plant, not just the roots. Um, I've recently been in touch with a family friend that is an organic farmer and basically as it turns out um, watering the plant too much causes the ears of corn to mold that didn't really factor in or I didn't factor it in um, so uh, having said that um, going forward, this is what we're going to do. Of course, all the plants are pulled. We would have had about uh, 15 years of corn, which is certainly more than enough for our house. Um, didn't happen. You know, they all probably about three, four inches long and got squishy. So that was disappointing. Now, what we're going to do for next year is... Once all the plants are yanked out, and right now all the corn is gone, we've got three cucumbers in the uh, little tiny stage, so we're going to finish those out. Um, then at that point, uh, gonna mulch all that and level all that. And um, so out of all of everything, we've got about three zucchinis, one cucumber, one acorn and yeah so I have three more cucumbers coming and that's it um, which is just fine you know that's cool uh, all the zucchini I sliced and froze for uh, further use so those are good and preserved <clears throat> pardon so with that uh, once that's all leveled out um, we're just going to maintain the tomatoes and peppers. Um, then, uh, once all the, the rest of the plants are done, the season starts changing, then we are going to uh, till everything and uh, work mulch in, uh, keep it tilled, and then uh, all the leaves that I get from our maples uh, with the lawnmower, we're going to use that as mulch and put that over the dirt for the uh, cold season. Once that, uh, come early May, we're going to get some uh, fertilizer. And we have some uh, phenomenal sources here in town. We've got a few uh, landscaping that actually work with the uh, zoo in our city. And then at that point, 
um, we can actually bring some of that home and <laughs> that's going to be the high point laying that down uh, fortunately I have a trailer so I don't have to put it in the back of my car yeah I got a jeep but no that's a that's an adventure it's not going on so uh, we're going to put all that in the trailer bring it home and lay that down really work that into the dirt and then uh, you know we're, we're still going to be doing the two three rows of corn again uh, but this next time we're gonna just lay a soaker hose around uh, the corn itself so that way the sprinkler does one half and the soaker hose does the corn um, then next year of course tomatoes peppers onions potatoes that's gonna be a new venture um, and carrots so um, gonna have a really nice round uh, batch of vegetable so um, looking forward to it so that's gonna be next year um, yeah we're gonna be uh, building up and prepping for a better garden next year taking everything that I've learned this year and I can't see why that won't work so we're gonna give it a shot um, anyway so that's kind of where we're at with um, the corporate garden so we learned some things uh, realized that actually had I had a soaker hose I would probably have amazing corn right now instead I have to buy it oh well anyway um, more later so this is Everett Morse thank you so much for watching um, I'm thinking about starting a discord with uh, farmers and gardeners and and you know uh, spread the word on this to, to where you know for those of us that are starting and, and venturing out and trying to grow our own things is there people out there that will you know uh, give us a hand and and maybe guide us all in the, the, the path to gardening joy uh, so I'm kind of pondering that um, we'll see what happens uh, having said that thanks again for watching and if you'd like to see a discord uh, drop a message or a comment and um, you know we'll get all kinds of growth and all kinds of gardens and and you know where the smart people can bring us uh, dumb people up and then we can all be on even ground and live in a world where we grow our own stuff instead of supporting the corporate mongols that overcharge us for things that we can grow our grow on our own um you know that's kind of where i'm at i'd rather spend time and energy and a little bit of money and the pride knowing that you know i did this on my own versus having to go to the store for the, the common and simple, you know, potato, carrot, onion, corn, tomato, and peppers. So, that's what we'd like to do. Um, Self-sufficiency, you know, kind of like our pioneers. Mm, not so much. We have better materials to work with. Anyway, uh, leave us a comment, leave us a line, see what happens. Thanks again for watching. This is Everett from Radio Salad Studios.